Hey, we're back. All you girls with a bit of memories. It's time to take on Jono. Alright, this should be an easy fight. There's no way I can lose against Jono. He might give me Time Wizard, which is what we're looking for. Because we need Time Wizard and a Dragon type. And I want to try out the Job Change Mirror and the Embryonic Beast. Because it's either that or Wicked Mirror. First of all, I'm going to play Umi. Reason why is because Umi is useful. And also, I kind of need a drink and I still forgot to get one. I need to stop saying this in the street. I should blame myself for not grabbing one, but we're going to make good old Immortal Thunder. Not really bothered about Mystic Lamp. Mystic Lamp can go do one. We got this. There's nothing to worry about this battle. This is probably the easy one. This is to warm us up in, into the next battle, which, oh boy. That battle could be good or bad, depending on what happens. Because he could easily have blue eyes first turn, and I'm hoping he doesn't. Wait, do I do that or do I make WoW Warrior? I think my warrior is a fish. Might not be. Oh, I make rare fish. Never mind. That's still cool though. I'll take a rare fish. It's like a shiny Pokemon. Rare fish. Speaking of uh, Pokemon. I might consider playing Nexomon on my channel when it comes out. If any of you are interested, let me know because it'll be really fun to play Nexomon. And another game I'll probably mention at some point in another video, which I'm looking forward to trying to get and play. But we did it, we won! Alright. Mask Clown. I'm curious to see if my cursor appears. Nah, it doesn't. That's good. I don't know why you thought you even had a chance against me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna beat Seto. No problem. He said, do not disappoint him. See, I got a win now. Oh, Joey gave me a dragon. Joey's awesome, because all I needed was a dragon. Okay, so now we can start chucking out certain cards like Jinzo, um, hmm, I'm torn, oh, I'm going to get rid of Ampharos and now I'm putting these two. Now if we get THD first turn, we're sorted. Unless he gets blue eyes first turn. So basically, we gotta watch out. So, first things first, we make Mystical Sand. Only blue eyes can beat Mystical Sand, so we'll know if he has blue eyes or not. And he does not. Okay, that's a good sign. Now we're gonna make Flame Swordsman. Not because we need it, but because I want to waste cards so I can pull out a certain card. Oh, if we get Lajin, that'll be really good. I'm just hoping that we get some decent cards. Okay. I didn't get anything that I can really use, but I can make rare fish again. Rare fish hype. 
because Rare Fish is going to become like a monster we see a lot more. Just because he just keeps popping up, so I have a feeling we're going to see Rare Fish again. But this is the easiest Seto fight at the moment. Although I shouldn't jinx it because he could easily bring out Blue Eyes. Oh no, we won. GG. Alright, I'm just going to summon Armored Zombie. So, now that is an example of easy mode Seto. Hard mode Seto is more annoying. Actually, you got like normal mode, then hard mode. Normal mode is he has Rapid Horseman, Spellbinding Circle. Hard mode is he has Blue Eyes first turn. Ooh, Fire Grass, that was terrible. Yeah, you lost. And he recognises us. Because we're, we're the Prince, obviously, but everyone else doesn't know that. So, Tiana and Jono just think we're just some random dude. And now I'm leaving. Because we get to fight the most epic fight. I tell you, this is a really good Yu-Gi-Oh game. And I do love Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I still collect the cards. Let me know if you still collect cards and what your favourite type of monsters are. Because I love Ritual and Pendulum is pretty cool, I feel, when you understand it. And what's your favourite Yu-Gi-Oh series? That's another question I want to know. Because Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds is great. It's not my favourite. The original Yu-Gi-Oh will always be my favourite. Then Zexal. Then GX, then 5Ds, and then Arc V. Arc V was really good, but the ending killed it for me, so that's why it goes down. And then the other one, which uh, I need to watch still. Ooh, what's that noise? We have to escape because Haishin's basically trying to dethrone the king and queen. So it's now our time to leave. And we get to meet Seto again. Yeah, Seto's a villain. High five. Team villains also. Kinda sad when you realise that. Team villain has an awesome squad. And then it's just you. We tell him where the Millennium Item is. Simon Moran! Yeah, I love Simon Moran. He's awesome. He's annoying if you play Yu Gi Oh! Uh, Dark Jewel Scories. He's got OP cards. Ooh. Yeah, I need to protect it for you, Simon. He, he was being honest then. Because he, he works for Haishin, but he wants to be better than Haishin, if that makes sense. He wants to take the top dog position for himself. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, well, now we've got to battle the hardest guy in this game. Well, the hardest guy at this point. And you'll understand why. Our first card peek. Ooh, we got nothing good. Let's just ignore that card peek. We don't need to worry about those cards. What we need to worry about is... We need to kind of um, lose this duel quickly. Now you're probably like, why would you want to lose the duel quickly? Because there's no benefit to actually dueling him. Because you can't actually beat him at this point. He 
he's got too many powerful cards. Although I'm pretty sure there's like a race speedrunners do to beat him. Which is probably cool, but I've never actually watched one. I should probably check it out and see how hard it actually is. But we lost. Ah, oh, it's game over. Sad times. But we're getting saved. Simon Moran's a, a true friend. Alright, if you choose Don't Shatter the Puzzle, it just repeats the cycle, so you might as well just shatter it. There's no additional scenes if you choose no. And now we're trapped inside the puzzle with Moran. So, any clue of who your character's meant to be in this? Because I'm pretty sure you can work it out based on the Millennium item. Obviously it's a completely different story, but the answer to who the character is is still the same. You know, I'm curious to see what the original Yu-Gi-Oh! manga is like. Because now that I think about it, the mangas tend to be different to the actual anime. Ooh. And now we are Yugi. I mean, let me know if you want me to skip the text or not, because I, I don't mind playing it, but it's up to you guys if you want to see it or just see me. Just dual heads, because Weevil's next. Alright, welcome to the Kaiba tournament. I still rate Joey. I know Joey's not the best duelist, but his luck is on point. But then the game, and then, but the anime decides you're not allowed any more luck. He could have beaten Marek. Could have beaten that dude in the uh, the Kaiba World Championships. I forgot his name. He had like OP cards. Mm. This Kaiba looks like Kaiba before his mind gets uh, crushed. Oh, you're not gonna win, Kaiba. Yeah, Joey, you're never winning against Kaiba. You seem to have lost every match with Kaiba. Ooh, and now we can save. Yeah, Taya works at the uh, card shop. And I hope you enjoyed that, and we shall continue in the next part. So thank you, and goodbye.